Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, coming at you with 2020 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions. This is random letter break number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. Number seven coming up right after this in a separate video. So we sold 14 spots. I think you know the drill by now. Only numbered cards, LeBron Jordan base, and obviously the inserts and hits will ship. Chasing all of these guys right here. And I think everyone knows how we're doing these by, by now. If we pull at Aesop's Fables, uh, if we pull one of those booklets, it's going to go to the name of the artist. That's because that, that's what the names are on the checklist. I think if it's the lion, it'll go to L. I think that makes sense. LeBron, LR2. Lots of stuff right here. All right. I think everyone knows this by now. We're on break six. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times for each list. Your names first. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, I said five, right? Five times. Edwin down to Adam. And then three and a two, five times for the letters. One, two, three, four. And fifth and final time. After five times, we got D down to C. All right, so Edwin with D, TJ, W, Matthew, I, F, E, plus all the other letters not on this list. Mike with A. Matthew with J, Last Bond Mojo. Josh with P and L. James with V. Paul with R and N. Adam with B. Uh, Paul with S. Zach with T. We're pretty close to BTS right there and said it's BST. Matthew with M. And then uh, we've got Adam with C. I don't know why Matthew has three different Last Bond Mojo stars on his name. Oh, I guess he got three spots in the, la in the last order. I think Sean does not know how to do last spot mojo, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's sort by yeah three last spot mojo. What is he? What is he doing here? Well, it's only for pick your teams. All right. Now there's only two boxes right here. I'm gonna switch away from that screen. I'll come back to it in just a second. There's two boxes right here left over from last night's break. We got a fresh case right here. We're gonna find four more boxes, and then that'll be a six box break right there. So let's pop that open. but we've got, oh, now you can see it right there, L and R, left and right. So we'll roll the die. We'll select a die. We'll select that Vegas one right there. One, two, three for L, four, five, six for R. Five for R. R. There's R right there. Now let's pop this guy. Can I just put it in my pocket? There it is. They used to be 12 box cases. They threw us off with this eight box thing. That's why we're having to do this. All right, so now these are the two we're gonna do already. Once again, we'll go one, two, three for the left four, and four, five, six for the right four. Three, so we're gonna do the left side right here. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, your six box break, and we'll save this for break seven. And then we'll have to dig up two more boxes from the other inner case. All right, let's flip back to this screen right here. We're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. I'm gonna drop a find a checklist for you guys too. And then, uh, then we'll have the break itself. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. No trades, checklist in the chat. This is random letter break number six, six box number six. On the 23rd, thanks everyone for getting into the action. Appreciate it. All right. 
three hits per box is kind of what we're looking for here. Good luck. Yeah, that was the big news of the day, TJ. Juan Soto testing positive for COVID has to have two negative tests in a row before he can before he can get back. Could be this week. Could be in two weeks. I don't know. We'll see. These packs are terrible. Yeah, it, it, it was surprising. It's kind of, I mean, at this point, you kind of have to think, well, how did he get it, you know? If, if they're getting regularly tested, if if he is kind of just quarant, kind of pseudo-quarantining with his team, I mean, he kind of has to, right? For the safety of his teammates, so was he doing something that he wasn't supposed to be doing? I don't know, you know? So I'm sure the Nationals are investigating that, that trace that back. Oh, that's awesome. There's like condos right outside the stadium. Looks like, looks like people are watching from up there. That's pretty cool. There's a hotel maybe? Oh, Hampton Inn and Suites. Wow. They can, Got people on the roof watching. All right, got most of them masked up. There you go. Good job. Right, exactly, Brad. How many other players did he come into contact with? Do any of them have it? Can they pass it on to the Yankees? Biological warfare right there. This is part of the reason why, the main part of the, the main reason why this Goodwin Champion six box break takes so long, is these packs. This is def definitely what, what makes this this thirty minute break turn into an hour long break. Half the time is trying to figure out these packs here. All right, there we go. All right, so these are considered base cards. They they won't go. Obviously, the minis will ship. Unless these are Michael Jordan or LeBron James, and those will be, this will ship. That's a parallel. I think everyone gets it. Nice Jason Dominguez mini. These will ship, of course. I don't know, how much are these Goodwin boxes? Are these must be maybe under a couple hundred bucks a box? I have no idea. 150 a box? Anyone know? Oh, actually, you know what? I have CardboardConnection.com. They usually have the price. I think they snagged the cheap up. $122. There you go. Yeah, a little over 100 a box. There's Nick Lucena, a beach volleyball player. It'll go to N. That'll be for Paul. I think that CardboardConnection.com price is a little on the cheaper side, but I think most hobby shops maybe a little bit more. I don't know what we're charging for it. Our first sea creature, love these guys, the manatee. M, Matthew Shear with the manatee. Yeah. Just the cows of the sea, right? Just grazing on seagrass. I need more top loaders, folks, but we'll make sure all those are sleeved up and top loaded before they go out. Our first autograph, is Simone Emanuel, swimmer. I do have regular top loaders here. Yeah, the, these are kind of a quirky card. It's definitely definitely a different look. You know, not not the usual stuff that we see all the time. So it's pretty quirky. If you're into that, then you're gonna love this. Some people don't like it. Some people love it. I feel like there's really no in betweens though. I love it. I think these are really goofy. I like to see creatures. 
I like the different animal ones. I think they're doing cats this year. A little more of a diverse checklist, you know, because you got like athlete, you got actors and and soccer players and field hockey field hockey players in the mix. So. You know, you kind of see all musicians. You kind of see all sorts of different, different things here. And yeah, some of the autos can be, can be pretty, uh, pretty valuable in the secondary market too. And animals in here too. I, think I need another need a container here. Hang on a second. Box one in the books, box two. Yeah, this is definitely a vehicle for uh, for Upper Decks exclusive exclusive autos. That's actually why it does pretty well. People love, uh, it's good when it's been around for a little bit. Uh, people love building the sets of these as well. So a lot of set builders really love this product. If there's still any set builders out there. Yep, and the Cat and the Sea Creature subsets have like four or five different tier levels. And some of the really short printed ones, at least in the past, I've seen some of the really short printed ones go for a ton of money. I've seen some close to $1,000, some old sets. And it might depend on the animal and everything, but but yeah, some of them could go for a lot of money. I don't know how they're doing this year, but it's possible. People build the sets of these too. There was a year they did a pug set, which was a short, it's like a tier five pug. I think they still go for a couple hundred dollars even now. But a lot of times that's what drives the price up for some of those relics because, because people are trying to complete sets. Oh yeah, Corey. I am ready. I got my uh, got my Dodgers hat right here. We had a little uh, some media here today talking to us, so I had to did my hair. The hair and makeup girl was here, but I've got my Dodger hat right there. It's gonna happen right after this game. I'm looking forward to it. Yankees up three one right now, folks. Real baseball happening. I have some uh, some financial interest in the Nationals winning this game as uh, as home dogs. You know, Max Scherzer seems to be getting into a groove here. Fifty five pitches already for Max Scherzer through four. And he got three or four more innings left in him. Yeah, it feels really nice to have sports back, especially baseball. Perfect for me. The soccer season, the EPL season, Liverpool already clinched the, uh, the Premier League title a while ago. But they clinched that, and there's only one more Premier League game left, and that's this Sunday. So that dovetails nicely in with the baseball season, season restarting. We've got basketball next, next Thursday or so. And we've got hockey in early August 1st, maybe. Shortly after that, we'll have some hockey as well. So from no sports, from no team sports in the United States, we're suddenly going to have a ton. Tiger going to T. Zach. And we've got a Nick Lucena Beach Volleyball Relic. 
part of his shirt, maybe? Oh, yeah, I don't want to be top loaders here. We'll top load all these later. N, that'll go to Paul with letter N. And, whoa, look at this. Space relics? Wow. The Space Shuttle Challenger S with that one. Paul with the letter S. This is part of the Challenger? Oh, right, that Furton right now, I was going to say. Not that mission, the other mission. That's crazy. That's pretty awesome from an early 80s mission, pre-disaster, of course, early 80s mission. Some of you, I'm not, but some of you may be old enough to remember remember that. that would, that's crazy. Watch out for these minis that want to slide out and get weird. All right, four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this is Goodwin 6. Goodwin 7 is going to happen right after that. And then we'll go through like 80 some odd orders and figure out what the rest of our evening is going to look like. I know there's already stuff sold out, folks, so we'll get to those. Let's see if I can figure out. I don't know what the order, the first to fill, first to break. I don't know what the exact order is going to be. But I'm, that, I think that Clearly Authentic is going to happen. Top Sterling is going to happen. Um, one of those uh, Prism Hobby breaks to give away mixer spots will happen. That mixer could happen tonight, too. Obsidian 2-box will happen a little bit later tonight. We'll give away spots in the uh, Flawless Collegiate break. Mosaic Pack 39 will eventually happen, and 38 maybe. We'll go through orders. We'll figure out what the numbering is on that. Um, what else? Sterling 3 will happen. We already did Optic 5 and 6. Spectra will happen. And then once we kind of go through some orders and go through a lot of stuff, we'll see what else we can reload onto the site. It's been kind of a kind of a wild day today because of some uh, some media that's that was here doing a little story on Jaspies. But I think we're I think we're uh, we can focus right back on group breaks for a good chunk of the night. Which mini Adam Coverman? Was there one that I missed? That was numbered. Oh, yeah, there it was. Oh. So that's Bianca Andres on Andrescu for letter B. Adam Kupperman. There you go. That's why he had a vested interest in that letter. Um, Adam, I only just learned yesterday that she beat Serena in last last year's in a in a U, in a U.S. Open. I think last year, and I was like, how in the world did we miss that? How did I miss that? I like tennis. Um, and I think Brad was saying these sideways ones are a little more rare as well. Um, and I was like, how did I miss that? I think that was the week we were maybe moving between the old shop and the new shop. And then remember we didn't have cable TV for like a week or two because direct TV hadn't come in yet. So I think we, why does this only have two cards in here? It's weird. But yeah, so I think that was, that might've been the week or two. We didn't have TV here. And so I just kind of missed that tennis US Open. So that's why I have no recollection of, the, of last year's tennis US Open, which is something that I would, I would watch every year. Tell me that one solo 
COVID randomly not well, being around the bubble? I mean, there really is no bubble, right? That's what I'm saying. But like, so that means he goes home to do whatever he wants? I mean, he shouldn't. Yeah, right? His team. I happened, mean, right? yeah. Think about it. That's just, that's what I'm thinking too. You know, he's someone was not following the rules. I mean, he's a young kid. You no, know, no, he's, wrong. Yeah, yeah. he's you know maybe he doesn't think he was gonna get it, and he was asymptomatic too. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but he, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. Kind of tells you that you need to stay, like the NBA. You know? NBA, yeah. yeah I mean, positive, like, in two weeks right, or exactly. Or but baseball is gonna be difficult. Where though? Like we're gonna have that many football fields. Or at least not let them go out. Y'all stay at a hotel Right, right. But yeah, but I mean, there's so many. I mean, football rosters are even bigger than baseball no, rosters. So what are you there's gonna do? No preseason means that there's gonna be like 80, 90 people throughout the whole summer now. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. You know what, Eric? We just saw, I just saw that news earlier today. Mike Tyson. And who's, who's he fighting? Jones Jr.? How old is he? That's kind of fun. A couple old guys beating up on each other. And we got Christian Coleman. Roy Jones Jr. is in his mid 40s. Here, I'll show you again, Paul. That's pretty cool. From an early 80s Challenger mission, where it produced the first spacewalk of the space shuttle program. Um, Christian Coleman, track and field, goes to Adam Kupperman, letter C. And we got Colonel Nicole. Malachowski of the United States Air Force, a genuine hero. That'll go to N. Paul. Nice. Nice lumberjack card, Stephen Root. Goes to S. Ken Jennings Lumberjacks. That kind of has a wood uh, sort of texture on the front of that, which is pretty cool. Oh, you can win a home run ball? That's pretty cool. Wait, where do I go? So I guess all those home run balls that end up in, the, in empty seats, you can, there's a contest where they're giving some away? It's a lot of fun. Oh, I gotta look that up. Um, I don't think there's going to be a Goodwin 8. Goodwin 7 looks like it's going to be our last one. And Goodwin 7 is coming up right after this. Axel, what's going on? How are you?
Steven Root in because of dodgeball? Or office space? Or all the other work he's done? Yeah, man, me too. It's just been home to work, work to home, Axel. Can't really do anything else. Oh, does he really? In this set, Brad? Brad's saying that he has specialty signatures in the set that say stapler and red stapler. That's fun. What a, goof, what a goofy set. I love this. And I... This might be top... This is in the top five of worst packs ever. This is pack quality, top five worst. Maybe top three worst. An autograph of this? Did I not notice a stapler comment in his autograph? I don't remember that. Huh. I don't know. The worst might be uh, another Upper Deck product, actually. SP Authentic, maybe. <laughs> Had pretty terrible packs. I think those are. I think those are worse than this. Yeah, Noir's up there too. I think that's the that's the top four right there. Maybe an, another product I'm not thinking of. Oh, Eric, you must have missed it. I think Oliver is saying that Roy Jones Jr. is in his mid 40s. I guess we'll we'll have to watch that fight and see if Nick Jaspi can match up against Mike Tyson. Oops, sorry. Another lumberjack card right here. When's that fight supposed to happen? Nice Michael Jordan right there. And we got Denny Avija. D. Edwin. Dennis Moore says September. You think it's free or you think it's pay per view? I guess cable really isn't free, but there's Nick Lucena, another upper deck volleyball relic here. Letter N. Edwin has letter D. Letter N is for Paul. And Stephen Root autograph. Ah, no, no staple reference in this particular one. Now, now I wish there was one. I'm just talking about him. Letter S, Paul Chung. So just an exhibition fight? All right, so maybe maybe it'll just be it'll just be on cable. It'll be a lot of fun to watch. All right, next box. Do we know what network's carrying it? Is ESPN going to carry it? All right, two boxes to go.
Oh, Jones is 51, and it will be pay per view according to Adam Copperman. Damn. Are we buying this fight? Would our stream get canceled if, like, the audio of the fight's in the background? Probably. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. All right. I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll find a way to get it. That's so random. A couple filler cards in there. One ruined. That's two. Oh, you can't turn the... Uh-oh, breaking news? Oh, no, we already saw this. MLB posting to expand 16 teams this year. Two more teams, up from 14. David M, you're saying you don't think the Giants have a single player that would start in the Dodgers right now? Might be. Maurizio Dubon, maybe. No, I don't think so. That's a tops thing. I don't think they're going to straight up copy. It's close enough anyway. Another lumberjack card right here. There might be some lightning in Washington, D.C. And we've got Mana Rayum. And she's going to go to letter M. That'll be for Matthew Shira. Yeah, there's Ken Jennings autographs in here too, Joey V. So that's a possibility for a K. That mini will go to all other letters not on the list, Matthew Shira. Yeah, Danny Trejo's in this. The checklist is wild, folks. All veteran comments, Eric. We uh, we end up selling and donating all the proceeds to charity. LA's Best, Boys and Girls Club, Children's Hospital LA are some of the organizations we support with those proceeds. Oh, what's coming up here? A cat? We've got a cat coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Cat alert. We've got a a Bengal cat. Adam with the letter B. I'm not sure if Adam's a cat guy or not, but there it is. With the coat of a wild cat, the Bengal's popularity came from its beauty and distinct history. Curious by nature, Bengals are full of energy and are known uh, internationally for their beautiful coat. Breeder Gene Mill was the original proponent of the breed, which he created by crossing the a wild Asian leopard and domestic cats. Since then, the cat has become extremely popular for pet enthusiasts. There you go. Knowledge. Knowledge. Ooh. Heads of state. Edward VII. This is it's one of his official stamps right there. 
There he is. Yeah, he was uh, 60 when he became king of England, king of the United Kingdom, and the other Commonwealth. January 22, 1901, upon the death of his mother, Queen Victoria, then, then the longest reigning monarch in the history of the British Isles. He was uncle to Russia's Tsar Nicholas II and German Emperor Wilhelm II, both key figures in the Great War. They began four years after Edward's death. Uh, e for Edward. That will be for Matthew Shearer. Uh, All right, last box coming up. I don't know what the, I'll have to look at the checklist, Daniel. I don't know what the most rare cat is. Here, here's the checklist for everybody. I mean, now I'm curious. We just look it up. Let's scroll down to cat. The rarest cat. So the Bengal uh, the Bengal cat is tier 1. The tier 6 cat tiger Cheetah and Lion. Yeah, the Black Panther card from yesterday. Right, Wakanda Forever. The Black Panther card from yesterday was a tier four. Which is one out of every... I'm not sure what these designations are. They say one out of every H, E, and then B? What are the differences there? Maybe Blaster and Hobby? Wow, Giancarlo Stan already has three RBIs on the day. Bases loaded, 4-1, Yankees, top of the fifth. Giancarlo Stan looks a little slimmer. Maybe a little, takes a little weight off of, off of his, uh, his joints, his muscles. A lot of lower, lower body injuries for him. Right, Tony Gonsolin would love that cat set. Uh, no, no coins yet, Brad. We've seen a few stamps. No coins. Ah, John is saying H-E is hobby and electron. There's electronic. And B is blaster. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was like, I couldn't tell what those odds were. Well, I knew what the odds were. I didn't know what the letter designations were, but there you go. So going back to the cat odds, so in, in hobby boxes for us, Tiger, Cheetah, Lion are tier six, the highest tier, one out of every 6,600 packs. And one out of every 33,000 packs if you're opening blasters. Wow, did you drop, Mike Tower, did you drop an MC Scat Cat reference? That's from the uh, classic music video, Opposites Tracked with Paula Abdul, one of, the, one of the more revolutionary music videos of the time. Opening day is today, officially. Yankees, Nationals, and then later on, it will be Giants at Dodgers. An opposite to track video must have been possibly pre who Framed Roger Rabbit, which was another kind of important animation and live action sort of combo. All right, finally. Oh, I got to do one more of these. All right. I love the stuff inside the packs, though. <laughs> the packs themselves are a nightmare. Watch out for those minis. 
All of these LeBron James base cards, of course, will ship. Sorry, Mesut Ozil. Letter M. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There is your break. A lot of fun minis, a lot of fun stuff. We've got we got a stamp, we got a cat, some autographs, some relics, space relics. That was pretty cool. Those three D lenticular cards. That mini was number to eight. So a lot of fun stuff. We'll get all those top loaded. I just ran out. Didn't have top loaders for this. A sea creature. I think I like the sea creature set. <laughs> and there's Nick Lucena right there as well. And there you have it, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Um, we have uh, Goodwin Champions number... This was number six. Goodwin Champions number seven is coming up right after this in a separate video. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Talk to you later.